I mean, it's good. This is really good because it shows you that there's so much money to make in poker. So much. Interesting spot here against Arthur. We have a good blocker. Goes check, check, flop, check, check, turn. <clears throat> I think it's quite good to block King, Jack, King, Ten in hearts. We unblock some ace highs. Um, we unblock hands like sevens, sixes, which are gonna be taking that line. I think the King does is uh, with the King in hearts. And we have lots of 8x, we play exactly the same line. Also here with the... <clears throat> All right. Yeah, the jams with the force is probably not so bad. But of course sucks when you don't hit. GG in the 2.6k. Uh, we flopped top two pair here. I'm gonna check the flop. Uh, I bet the flop, I'm gonna check the turn. We have pot left. Not really afraid of anything. <clears throat> it's always good on party poker that you can't take notes afterwards. And yeah, I'm definitely gonna check jam against that sizing. Um, because you wanna jam. So he doesn't take his check back on the on the river. And we reshuffle against Oli here. Uh, 20 big blinds, ace nine, small reverse big blind button. We're getting it in. Nope. And we face the jam here, very easy fold. Um, there are literally no bluffs possible. I mean, he could be shoving something like queen jack, queen 10, which would be pretty gangster, but I just don't see people doing it. I'm just gonna jam the queen three suited here, less than 15 big blinds, blind versus blind. That is a bit of a surprising call to me. <clears throat> Gonna be squeezing here my king queen off. I think 4x in position here given the stack size is totally sufficient. Don't want to get go any bigger i think if he has ace 10 off ace jack he's already hating his life uh these guys can have all sorts of hands and if he jams i'm gonna be committed um i mean he overcalls as a third player i mean i don't know what he's doing there but uh, um So now the question is, I mean, against everything we have two overs. So if he has like seven eights, you did. Um, we need like 31% equity. He has eight nine suited, 10 nine suited. He has a high VPIP. So he definitely has those. He could even have eight five suited. Not sure if he's calling a three bet. Um, I think he's going to be jamming his 8-9s and 10 nine suited. And two overs should be good enough. I mean, if he has 10-7 suited, then he has a lot more than that. And I think it's a... I didn't even give him 10-7 suited, so... <laughs> well played, sir. Well played.
And if someone wakes up with a hand like this um, and you put him on a very wide range, that's why you call. I regem ace king here against queen jack. That's good. Uh, bad turn. <clears throat> I appreciate that you enjoyed the podcast with Duck. I also really enjoyed it. We shove the ace queen against our 10 7 friend. So, yeah, he seems to be a little bit wild. <laughs> 10 8 off. I think we made a very good call, chat. I think we made a very good call there with the king queen. straight right yeah and we get the three bit from from the kings uh from yeah with the kings Yeah, I probably just want to race and get it in on the flop. Just too many draws possible. We could even be raising hands like queen, jack, and clubs where, where we um, make him fold over pairs. I mean, at least he's supposed to fold over pairs. Oh my God. <sighs> and we lose all in ace check against ace nine for a bounty. Oh my god, we're going for two bounties, I think. I mean, he's jamming. We have a, we have a good suck out hand. We have a good suck out hand. Starting ships 25k. Oh, yes, yes, we have to go for it. Easy, easy call. Easy, easy call, chat. And we actually, I think his jam is good, but. <laughs> well, we're both drawing that. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I think I'm just gonna jam this. We unblock flush rows. We can jam most of our queens. I mean, we really only have 10 9. I'm not jamming the 10 9 with a clubs club in it. So I'm probably jamming half of my 10 9s. And King 10s, probably also only the ones that are in spade and hearts. I don't want to block his, you know, ace 10 and diamonds that he's flopping, floating the flop with. Um, but I feel like I'm getting hero caught here. Yeah. 
I mean, the Nine and Clubs, I'm not bluffing with the Nine and Clubs, so it's a better bluff catcher than, let's say, Jack Nine and Hearts. I hope he folds those and then he should be fine. But yeah, it's also, it's, it's, I think I can jam almost any queen in this. At least the queen tens and better. Um, let's see. We have six, seven clubs, jack six, jack seven clubs, queen six, queen seven. Some, some, a few slow plays. We can jam all queen tens. Probably all, yeah, king queens as well that we didn't three bit pre. That I wouldn't race. I wouldn't race king queen on this flop. Um, so yeah. Oh, the ace queen hand was crazy. The ace queen hand was crazy. This guy, and this is one of the hands that illustrates one of the biggest leaks in poker. And I made a YouTube video about it. And if you really care about improving your win rate, you should watch this video where I talk about people falling in love with their hand strength. I think it's called biggest mistakes people make in poker or why you can't win in poker. Uh, something like this. This, of course, in this instance, it worked. Um, we can go through the hand because I think it's it's a very important hand, to be honest. Um, if, if you really want to make it in poker. Um, so I raise, he flops two pair, all fine, check raises. Turn is already first take it off here. <sighs> Unlucky for him, of course. Just a cooler. Um, turn, still a fine bet. <laughs> and river is just. <coughs> it's not, I'm not saying it's necessarily a terrible call. But like, think about the bluffs I can have. Um, he can have all the flushes himself. Um, he can have King Jack himself. He can have all the sets himself. And he just snap bets, bet calls his two pair on this board. So the only, only bluff I can really have is Ace Queen. I'm not calling, I'm not, I'm probably, yeah, ace, maybe ace 10, but also I'm raising from another gun. I'm not raising all ace 10 offs here. So it's getting very dicey here um, with your, with your king five. I think you should at least think it through, but I think what the way most people approach it is I have two pair, I have to go broke, right? I have all nut flush draws. I have all king x and diamonds. I have all jack x and diamonds. I'm also jamming my sets, right? So if I have pocket fives, pocket kings, pocket jacks, I'm still gonna jam it. So you're really relying on me having <coughs> uh, on me having the um, ace queen, ace, ace and diamonds. And we talk about I'm not jamming it every single time, like if I'm not feeling it. This is also like a human uh, comp component that you need to take into consideration that we're human beings, right? So I'm like, for whatever reason, I might not bluff jam. I'm still gonna jam all my value hands. So psychology comes into play. So if I have six combos of ace queen with the ace or queen and diamonds, I'm probably not gonna jam. I really wanna block the nut flush draws. So this is where I think a lot of people don't understand that now two pair is just no good. Like, especially if you have more like a bottom two pair and you're still crushed by King Jack, all sets and all the flushes. Um, and I talk about this, if, if you have the ability to really think from street to street and being able to reevaluate re your hand strength, given the action, you're gonna be crushing in poker. You're gonna be crushing in poker. Big sizing on the on the flop to make him fold his king x. Going to check it back. There are some king fives, ace fives in his range. Maybe jack five suited him called pre. I uh, don't want to bet forward my hand. I mean, it would be just such a disaster. And we get the 
best run out we can hope for. Uh, there's some shadow value against weaker flush draws, 7, 8 hearts, 10x hearts, 10, 9, 10, 8 and hearts. So we don't need to bluff this. King 4 off. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, you love to see it. I mean, it's good. This is really good because it shows you that there's so much money to make in poker. So much. He's check against King Queen. It's just an ace and without a sweat. Just without a sweat. Nope. Is it rebuilding the 9 8 in spades? Call is also fine. bet and continue on spades perhaps even a six or seven I'm gonna check wow. the problem is what I really hate is that we block nines and eights but like the thing is he can have king queens right but he's gonna have king jack king ten some Queen Jack type of even if he has ace three s four I, I think I'm gonna jam this like man he has to fold like he doesn't have Jack ten we can have it like miraculously we have all the strong hands he can still have seven sixes even if he's ace Jack ace ten he's gonna hate his life I'm gonna jam this. King Queen, yeah, King Queen is the only hand that I see calling there. Nice hand. Ah, that feels good. Feels good. Tense, we squeeze. Get it in against Lucas. And Jax, I'm just gonna jam here against Miss Oracle. Fucking god, he just rips it. Uh, Ace Queen. I mean, he has all the Ace Queens. He could have some traps, but like, if he starts jamming nines and eights. This guy seems to be quite aggro so far. Good luck, us. I mean, 
35 bix. 37. I don't think he has ever jacks or queens there for his 20 big blind stack. So he has the ace queens, which don't really want to get it in. Play post flop. Pocket nines, pocket eights. He covers us. People know I'm loose. Queens, oh, what, what is going on today? Why do you have queens there? Oh, I don't want to, I don't even care if I suck them out or not. How can I be so wrong today? Seriously. Like, and then he tanks forever. Like, he must be the biggest nit on earth. Uh, I think we have to call here. I mean, he's going. He's reshoving eleven big blinds. I think Bruno is going to be iso shoving almost his entire range. Let's see what his starting stack. I mean, of course, also the aces or kings, and he snap jams. I don't think he's going to be doing it with aces or kings that often. Starting to twenty k. Yeah, he's not going to. He's via jack ten, queen jack. He's going to be jamming. We're going to get ahead against that. Flipping. No broadways, please. That is a massive pot. Nope. Nine. Nope, that's not a nine. Yeah. Uh, I see if he has seven, six, has five, eight, he's going to be jamming all of these. Uh, I'm going to call to squeeze this guy. He pays a 55 V pip. He has been super aggressive. Uh, probably sh shoving is fine as well, but I give myself a little bit of a post flop edge. So. And we have position on him. <clears throat> Thinking about raising, actually, I don't want to get jammed off my equity, but it's probably not a thing that we should raise with him behind. Let's just call. It might save us also. If he jams and we don't improve, okay, now we have an easy decision. He has aces, wow. Oh, he hold. Whoo, sick, sick, sick. Well, sometimes people are stronger, stronger than you think. Interesting, Jimmy, Dimitri checks, opens the button, checks, check backs the flop, bets the turn. Hmm. He could be bluffing his ace jacks and ace tens. He could definitely do that. Uh, clap is irrelevant. We block some 6 7, we check back, bad bluff turn, drum rumor. Um. <sighs> I think he could have Jack 10 without a clubs that want to pot control and don't get it in. I definitely see those. I see Queen Nines and Pocket Queens. But I also see Ace Jack, Ace 10. Something like Jack 7 suited. Jack 6, Jack 5 suited is probably also in his range. Or at least Jack 6. Um, value Aces, really? King Queen? Might be a random trap, but like. I prefer having queens, uh, I think. What is better, queen six or queen jack? Because we also block a bunch of bluffs. I think he has more bluffs. So actually I don't want to have a jack or 10 because he's going to have way more bluffs with a jack or 10 than value hands, right? So um, yeah, I think I fold my queen jack, queen 10 and call some queen six here. He bluffs with eight, seven then he's probably over bluffing. Mike Adamo likes to 3-bet these spots. Hmm. But Kings, we definitely don't really want to see. I don't think he's going to blast it off in a 4-bet pot. So if he has Queens or Jacks or Ace King, I'm happy to take the raise right now. And I don't know, he probably knows I can be 4-bet jamming an Ace-5, Ace-4 suited. 
Even if Big Bone jams, I mean, we're not going to afford kings here. It's still six of the money. Oh my fucking god. Yeah. He could be doing it with Ace King to be perceived as uh, as weak, but yeah. Or as perceived as strong. Good luck, us. Ace King off. Uh, it's not looking good. That's not looking good, chat. GG. Oh, and Victor even shows an ace. That's brutal. Got two out it. Oh, and he's probably going to be taking down another player. Let's go. We are down to three players left. Uh, I'm going to min raise the king line. Lots of min raising happenings, to, even with the 10 big blinds. Okay, min bet. Big mistakes of a lot of uh, high stakes racks, just shoving way too much with like their 10, 15 big blinds. You can jam, but not everything. You can still min raise a lot. He's king. I'm gonna attack his. Uh... Also, here I'm just gonna raise to like 2.88 big blinds. I want to induce a jam. He's definitely aggressive enough. And I don't mind playing post for base, ace king. <laughs> and he goes for the four bet. I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, now we're gonna get it in. Okay, seven. So that's just a cooler. And he want, wanted me to induce something. All right, that's it. He's, he's unbeatable today. He's unbeatable today. All right, we cashed for 14k in this one, which is not bad. Just an unlucky setup. Ooh, we need to dodge a lot of hands. A lot of cards, I mean. 